everyone in this video we are going to do pump validation in react js we will use react hook pump for that purpose and first i am going to show you what we are going to build today so here we can see this is a simple sign up page and when we try to click on sign up and you can see here we get error message user is required and all the field is required now and let's type something here so I give the Usman and phone number 123. Now we can see phone number is not valid. So let's give. And now our phone number is valid. And we can enter her email. Usman at the red. Gmail.com. And something like this. So here you can see now email is also valid. And password. Let's try to give the password. And you can see. Now password at least six character and now it's gone and we try to password must be match the this one password so here we can try to give same password and now we can see and when we sign up now data is submit successfully so we are going to build today this simple sign up page so first let's start so first i am going to open terminal and here i am going to create a starter react app so npx create react app and give the project name so form validation for this app name is form validation and now hit enter it will take couple of minutes and so wait now now our app is created and let's go to inside of form validation and here let's open in bs code And here is our app and let's zoom a little bit. I think now it's okay. And first I am going to delete this and your CSS and also here I am going to remove all the styles and here we don't need this to import a statement and also i'm going to remove all the and here we can run. hello now let's start the development server so npm start now our development server is started and let's do this one and okay so first i am going to import here font so go to google font google font something and here is no need all this form and i am going to use roboto so we can take roboto or here we can use light 300 and 400 medium it's enough and we can copy this one and and go to vs code and here we can paste this one and now we can go in our tab here padding 0 margin 0 and box size border back i am resetting all the default style and here we can write body and here i am going to give background color as a is something like that and font family Roboto and here is sans serif. Now let's go to app and here I am going to create input fields. 
So first, let's create our input field. So I am going to take one form and inside of form, take one label, label and this label give user name and take one input type text and placeholder username and now here we can see our input and give this app name is i think sign up go to index file and here we can select sign up sign up and here we need to give some basic style background colors white max width 30 ram and margin to run bottom and top and auto now it will in center and here we can give padding to run now you can see here and let's keep wrap this one into form group so simply here deep and we can wrap and keep the class name as a input group not a form group input group now we can wrap in input group and select here input group and here we can style so I'm going to give some basic style for display flex and flex direction column and give some gap gap 0.5 ram okay now it's looking much better and let's take another input and this input I'm going to creating here so I am going I we need to lots of this one input group so I am going to create our custom component here simply call input and we can pass whatever we need so here input group sorry input and export default here input function input input and this one return simply this okay one input group and that has one label and input box and so we can use here directly this input so it look more cleaner and input okay and we can take this one as multiple time now so here we need to pass all the things we are here we using hard coded so we need to accept as a props and we need id and label and placeholder also we need to type for thing for now and we can give here html4 and here we should be id and input equal to id and id and here we can give label and here we can give placeholder and here we can give time let's give id username and we can pass label and here username and we need to type text and plus folder equal to here enter username now it's working fine and remove for now and let's style this input so it look much better than this one 
So here I'm going to select directly input and padding 0.5 RAM and give border one pixel solid, maybe gray. Yeah, it's looking much better and give font size one RAM, font size one RAM, yeah. And we can give font family inherit. Okay. Now this one is inherit to the parent. So body is our set. So now it's Roboto. And here we can use multiple form. We need to multiple input. So here just we need to add one more. And here we can use one number and also label one number and type text and enter phone number and let's copy this one and paste and paste multiple times one more time and now here we can use email and email and type must be email and here we can pass enter email and last one password and this one is label also the password and now Type this password and enter password. And now here we need to confirm password. And here we can pass label confirm password also password and here enter. confirm password now we have taken all the input and now take one button so button and here we can give sign up okay and let's give some style of this form so go here and i am going to write top form and here we give display flex simply and Flex direction caller and go for now one RAM. Okay, not looking great. And let's select button. Button and I'm giving padding 0.5 RAM. Background color. Tomato. And here outline border sorry border not we don't need border and font size 1.2 RAM and color white. Now it's looking nice and let's give heading here sign up this so H1 and here sign up page sign up and here we can give paragraph and loss form i think that's enough and let's just start this one so instead of here we need to h1 and font size 1.4 and margin bottom Point five RAM and let's select paragraph and mouse and bottom two RAM. Four RAM. Yeah, now it's looking great. And let's now we need to validate the form. So first I am going to use here React Hook form. So let's search React Hook form. React 
Oppo. Here, go to get started, and here we can install. So let's create one terminal, and we can copy this one, and here we can press just click, and now it will take some time. Now it's installed and one thing we need to more install because we are going to validate the form. So schema validation, we use your yep, validation. You can use dot superstruct UI anything and whichever you like. And I am going to use your yep, resolver. And so now, so now here we need to It's also installed and let's go to our app and here we need to go to app.js and now here we need to validate so first we need to import use form from react hook form so we can use this hook and const this hooks return object use for there is couple of properties so first i am going to take handle submit and this properties handle the our form x submit on submit so we can pass here handle submit and this submit take one callback so callback our any function so let's create const and form submit and argument has our data and we can console the data here now and we can pass the form submit and let's open console and we can see now we can click here and we can see our is empty object because we haven't registered this input and now we need to add a schema here so first we have to import resolver so here we are going to use yep resolver and yep App resolver from hook forms resolver slash we are going to yep so here we are going to use yep and now we need to also install yep schema so npm i yep And now it's installed and here we can go and import everything as the app from from yep and here we can import it let's create a schema here const schema and here we need to write yep dot object and this object take one object and here we can give the reference so we haven't register anything now so first let's register all the input so we uh, react to handle so first i am going to here register and this register we need to pass our input so here i am give register equal to and here we can pass this then register and and we can give a username any unique id so i am giving username and now we know this is our input it's custom component so we need to here register register and we can pass here inside of input so register so now we need to spread all the register value here directly and here we can copy this one and paste here also 
and here we need to phone number and here we need email and here password and here confirm password confirm password let's type something so small and phone number one two and now sign up now we can see all the value here and this field of input here now our register is working successfully and here we can pass as object and this object take resolver and this resolver we are going yeah so here we need to pass up resolver and up resolver take one argument and this one is a schema our now here is our schema so here we did mistake here should be a resolver not a okay now it's correct okay it's working fine yeah. let's validate so in this schema we have to pass here this reference key here so here we can just write key and here we need to validate yep dot this should be a string and this one is a required field and let's try to sign up and now we can see let's focus on and this use form return form a state and there is a lots of properties and we can let's console it and we can see console dot form a state and now we can see here is form a state and here one is error and here we need this error so here i am going to and just error and we can print here error and sign up and here we can see user name is a required field okay and this field is required and this error message we want to show here below of this input box so let's go to our custom component here we need to just span and here we can give error message and here we can write class name error message and we can also take from the error message and let's give first i am going to pass error message here so just error message and here we pass error dot username and username as a message and now we can pass here here should be this unique id so here is phone number phone number and here email and here password and here confirm password confirm password okay now try to sign up now here we can see username is a required field let's give a style of this span so we go here and select error masses and simply color red and font family font size sorry 0 0.8 and now it's looking nice we can give point nine okay it's looking nice for now and sign up and let's validate 
phone number so here we can write just phone number and yep dot so string it should be a string and also is required and and we need to some regex for phone number you can search on google and we can take regex from anywhere i have already one regex and here i am going to use this one and here we can comma and here we can second argument our masses so if we are not passing let's give the by default message as you can see here so leave for now and try to do phone, num phone number is a required field and now you can see phone number must match the flowing this one this is looking bad just here we need to give phone number not violet so let's we can pass here second parameter is our custom message so phone number is not violet something like that and so here let's now try to sign up and now we can see phone number is not violet and then we tap now phone number is valid okay and now auto focus on input because this username so i type usman and now we can sign up all are valid let's validate all the fill so now we need to validate email yep dot string and it is also required fill and this must be email and here we can pass custom message inside of this required here we can pass directly user name is a required field so we can pass this custom message here also if you don't pass is give the by default message but we are passing on number and here we can also pass email and we can here also pass email is not valid and let's try sign up email is not valid and here we can type email is not valid if is empty email is required field and now time to do password password this we as a string and for now we can do let's give another use minimum min minimum six character and let's try to do okay now we can see password must be at least six characters and here we can give custom message as a second parameter so let's i'm going to do first letter in capital and now try now we can see our first letter is capital and here this confirm password whatever type inside of password this be same so let's write confirm password and here we can yep dot streaming okay and there is one for one of and this one of take array so suppose here we are passing array values one of this confirm password value must be one of this one so let's try to do confirm password must be one of following the value smart suppose we type here usman now it's working but we want to inside of this input value here so how can we access this input right here can be multiple values something like this mokit so now try usman is correct and nothing and if you pass a mokit then it is okay but we want to access this input field here so how can we access so here we need to pass in array as a reference so we can pass yep 
dot ref and this ref we need to pass our key so our key is password so just be pass password and now we can try confirm password must be one of the following ref those password this one so here we can pass after this array we can give custom masses and message is password must be match and be and now that's correct okay and try to sign up password must be match so here we can type smart and 123 and here type smart 123 and now try to sign up now it's valid but we provide email so email usman at the red gmail dot com now it's also valid and try to sign up okay and we get all the values here so first let's clear the console and try to sign up now we can see usman123 and gmail and all the values here so this is a simple form validation using react hook form so how you hope you will learn something new and how to use react hook form in your project and i will meet you in next video so stay tuned